I got scammed on eBay out of an iPhone and eBay sided with a scammer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about it. What's good everybody, it's your boy Everton. And yeah, I sold an iPhone 13 Pro Max, 256 gigabyte, Sierra Blue in great condition. I mean, this thing was immaculate, sold it, and yeah, um, I got scammed out of it. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. Um, take you through this wild ride, because I'm not gonna lie to you, like a lot of things change, and yeah, let's go and talk about it. So on May 1st, which is a Wednesday, I actually listed an iPhone 13 Pro Max, Sierra Blue, 256 gigabyte, took a bunch of photos, really detailed and talked about basically the phone itself, uh, this is a phone that I actually used on to on my channel a, a few times, so I, I needed to keep it in really good condition. So I basically just listed it on there as a 48-hour auction. I felt this was a pretty high demand, so it would sell pretty quickly. It basically did. I put a buy it now option on there for about 650 bucks, which was on the high range of like how those phones in good condition really sold for. So I essentially just said, hey, if somebody really wants to not wait for the bidding process to end um they just want to secure it right now they can go ahead and do that and one of the benefits of buy it now is that they have to pay with a like secured or a proven transaction think about like debit or credit card they don't have to wait for like an e-check to clear or anything like that and they have to and they actually have to pay for it right then and there versus an auction you have to kind of wait for the buyer who won the auction to pay after a few days and an hour and one minute later at 7:01 p.m local time they did. Um, so I did the good thing like any other sh seller should do. I went to the UPS store the very next day and actually shipped it out, provided the tracking number. And I even took a photo of the receipt to send to the buyer just to give them some kind of peace of mind. Like, hey, even if this doesn't show up in their system immediately, um, you know, here's a proof that I actually paid for it and everything like that. Here's the tracking number because that has caused me some panic before. Whenever someone provides a tracking number, I go to track it and I can't, it says it's not in the system. I'm like, man, did they provide me a fake tracking number? Like, what's going on here? After I sent the, basically the receipt to the person, usually people say, thanks, or, you know, appreciate it. And they move on about their day. This guy was very non-communicative. I shipped it to Miami and it got delivered. During this time, eBay also released the funds. So I've now transferred the money from the sale of the iPhone into my account. And I'll, just FYI, when I did the listing, I also put that I do not accept returns. Like buyer or seller does not accept returns. So, you know, I go to sleep. I think everything's good. It's been delivered. All is well. Wake up Tuesday morning. I see the buyer has essentially sent me a message and also requested to return the item. So I'm like, wait a minute, I put, I don't accept returns. So I'm guessing this is something new. Um, I don't know what's going on. So I send the buyer a message. I'm like, hey, I don't accept returns, um, but I see that you sent me a message. I've already used the funds. So, you know, let's, what, what can I help you out with? So this is before I realized that eBay had actually changed your policy and essentially that there's no such thing as no returns. Like if you sell something on eBay, regardless of what they allow you to select when you're setting up the posting or the auction, you still agree to accept the return. So I'm trying to contact this guy and I'm like, hey, what's going on? Like, you know, I'm sending a few messages. He's not responding. I'm like 75% right now, feel like I'm being scammed. So I go into Google Maps, and I look up the address. I'm like, it's of a freaking warehouse, right? It's like, it's not even a residential place or anything like that or a business with an identifying mark. It's just, this warehouse. So now I'm like, damn, I feel like I'm getting scammed. So I click on the buyer's feedback and it says the guy who sold something or had a transaction that left the feedback right before me said scammer, you know, beware. And I'm like, okay, I just went from 75% to feel like 90%. I'm definitely being scammed. I don't know how, but I feel like I'm being part of a scam. Now, the first thing that entered into my mind was like, oh my God, this guy's going to probably try to return an empty box or something like that. I have no idea, right? Contacting the guy, he's not responding, so I opened up a case, right? So the buyer then says, hey, I'm gonna open up, he opens up a case. So they said, hey, we sided with the buyer. We're gonna ask that the buyer send the item back and then we're gonna put a hold on the amount of money that is sold for. So now my eBay account is negative like 600 and something buck. I guess I gotta hope that this guy's honest guy, he just doesn't like to communicate and he just sends back the phone Hopefully I can refund the money and then just go about my business and resell it, right? It's annoying, but whatever. I'm tracking this thing now, right? Now, remind you, I sent it to Miami. I tracked the package. The freaking USPS tracking says it's coming from New York. 
I'm like, wait a minute. Something's now I'm going from like 75% to like 97% sure that I'm just being scammed and I'm just along for the ride. There's only two possible options, right? Number one, I sent it to Miami and you the very next day you wanted to return it. So you shipped the phone to New York to then return it. Or one thing that could happen is maybe you got the phone, you're going to New York the next day anyway, so you're like, whatever, let me just fly to New York and I'll return it from there. One's very plausible, one feels very scammy, but whenever I have to try to reach for a solution, I know I'm being part of the scam. Too many things aren't lining up. So what I do is actually Google the address. Instead of just Google Maps, Googling the address where I sent it to, there is a crap ton of articles on there, on Reddit, on eBay's site, saying, like, so many sites saying, hey, this is a shipping scam. Now, granted, I didn't do this. I thought that I didn't have any risk in it. So, like, I put no return. So, I'm like, hey, what's the big deal? But I shipped it off, did my part. But now that I know that I'm part of the scam, I'm like, wow, I, I feel like, cool. Like, you know, eBay's going to see this. I'm tracking the package. It says going through, uh, coming to San Antonio, which is where I live. And... It said delivered. I call my apartment, go down to the mailbox. They're like, yo, we haven't received anything. I even go to my old apartment. They're like, yo, we haven't received anything either. So I'm like, okay, now I know I'm a part of the scam. Like, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm part of the scam. In fact, I'm 100% sure I'm part of the scam now. They see that's been delivered. They just close the case out. They're like, hey, yeah, we found in favor of the, of the, of the buyer, a.k.a. the scam. The, the next day, they're like, hey, we're going to debit this money out of your checking account tomorrow i'm like no the f you're not i'm panicking now because one thing if i owe ebay some money but not now you're going to tap my bank account after they sided with the scammer i literally have to appeal the case and i appeal the case and i'm like hey man this guy freaking i shipped it to miami they're shipping it from new york back to me i didn't receive any item you know i let them know what was going on a nice woman said, hey, you know what? You see that you've been trying to communicate with the buyer, giving them several options. We're going to reverse it. So they ended up reversing it back. But if I didn't appeal it, I would have been out almost 700 bucks, which absolutely sucked. So at the end of the day, I mean, there were several red flags that I missed. I mean, and number one, it was the fact that it's a red flag, but the buyer was non-communicative, right? I, at no point in time did the buyer say anything other than, hey, this product's defective, which I know it wasn't because it was my phone. And I even sent pictures of it with the carrier on it, right? Number two, it was packed with care. I, got, I, I, I care. I package it nicely so that you'd have a good experience. Secondly, I mean, the thing came from New York when I shipped it to Miami. Very, very odd. And also, when I shipped it, it was to a warehouse, which I also didn't, I also think is odd. And when you combine all these things together with the fact that, hey, this thing was this guy's buyer also was reported by a scammer before. If I had put all the things together, I would have definitely not shipped it out there. But the articles, the fact that these articles existed at eBay didn't actually like still sided with the guy. It lets me know that, hey, this the case, there's nobody actually like. I guess monitoring it. There's no like human is what I'm thinking. It's just like, hey, did, did the status say delivered? Okay, close it out. And then only when you appeal a case when a human gets involved. Person was very nice, sent me a really nice email saying that they were a seller as well, etc. But you know, it's companies like this that when you have to compete with Amazon and all these other retailers, they become so their policies become buyer friendly. But anyway, guys, just want to share that with you. Hopefully, you guys took down the red flags and know what to look for. But I just want to leave you guys with that. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, is there anything else that I missed out on? Um, have you guys felt safe on eBay? Do you guys sell? Are you a buyer? Let me know. Well, until next time, I'm Everton, and I do videos Everton's way. Peace.